Parts Express, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components. Hey, it's Mike at Parts Express, and today I'm uh, taking a look at this Goldwood 12-inch vented enclosure. One of the nice things about this is it's constructed out of 3 quarter inch MDF, as you can see. It's built very well. All joints are glued to ensure a nice tight seal, and it has a slot port at the bottom. On the back of this enclosure is a terminal cup that has two spring-loaded terminals. These are going to accommodate up to 16 gauge wire, so if you're going to be using anything larger, you'd probably want to switch it out with a binding post or a binding post terminal cup. The box has an 11 inch cutout on the 12 inch model, and that's to accommodate, of course, most if not all subwoofers out there that are 12 inches. And then you have a slotted port. The slotted port is 1 and 15 16 tall, about 12 and an eighth wide, and 13 inches deep. What that does with this enclosure, which is roughly 1.5 cubic feet total volume internally, is tuned to about 55 hertz. That's, that's high for some people. For most people, that's really good for a nice punchy bass. If you want to get the really low deep stuff, what you're going to want to do is take this port right here and actually decrease the width. Now, a lot of people might ask, you know, isn't that going to increase the vent air velocity and make for port noise? In my model that I'm going to show you, you'll actually see that up to about 500 watts, you're fine. Anything above that, yeah, might, you might have to worry and reconstruct the width of the port to accommodate that type of power level, but for most instances, it's not an issue at all. In fact, if you reduce this, as I'll show you in the model that we're about to do, that um, if you reduce this to right around five inches width, six inches width, you could tune this to 30 hertz. Basically, what you would want to do is take a two by four and basically cut it so it's one and 15 sixteenths wide and 13 inches long. And then just fit it in here and glue it to the side and just basically stack them up and that's going to reduce your width and lower the tuning frequency of the box, which makes you able to play lower with your subwoofer. So let's now take a look at the model that I used in base box. Okay, so the first thing that I'm doing is I'm going to our website. Punch in the part number for the speaker box. And I'm pulling up to see what the dimensions and port size is. Then I go into base box. I enter the dimensions, external of course, for a vented enclosure that I've grabbed off of our webpage. Convert all of your fractions to decimals. I just use the uh, quick and easy calculator built into Windows for this. I change the port to rectangular. Punch the dimensions in. I lock the dimensions in place. I go back, change the damping, make sure damping is set to none. And we can see what the port's tuned to, or the box is tuned to. So you're at 53.2 hertz. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to load a driver into it. The driver I'm using for this model is the Dayton Audio RS 12-inch high output model. So we have our F3 there, which is 41 hertz, but as you can see, it's rather peaky. So this is going to be a case where we're definitely going to want to change the tuning frequency. Next, I'm looking at vent velocity. And this is starting out at 700 watts, but we're not going to be using anywhere near that much. We're going to be using about 200 watts or 100 watts. So as you can see, the vent velocity drives down really quick, really fast, as soon as I start to drop the power. Making the vent width thinner is going to lower the tuning frequency. So I loaded the driver to see what was going on. We see a big peak. We know we need to flatten it out. So we're going to change that width to smaller to lower the tuning frequency. So again, we lock that vent and we start playing with the vent width. So we're going to try and model what's going to happen if we change that width to 5 inches. Hit accept. And now I'm going to overlay the updated. And as you see, it's much more flat. And you also have a lower F3. Your vent air velocity is still good. Your X max is good. Now let's see what's going to happen if we start to apply more power. 200 watts, you're still fine. 300, you're fine. 
400, you're fine. So only for the most extreme applications when you're going 500 watts and above are you going to run into any issues with vent velocity. 500 watts is, you probably won't notice it, but the chart does show it could be an issue. So as it is stock, it's tuned to 55 hertz. By making the port width narrower, we've lowered the tuning frequency to 34 hertz, and your F3 or 3 decibel down point is now 30 hertz. So if you're in the market for a low-cost, high-value subwoofer enclosure, look no further than the Goldwood subwoofer enclosures at Parts Express. Over 15,000 products, free same-day shipping on most orders, 45-day no-hassle returns, and free tech support. PartsExpress.com, the number one source for audio, video, and speaker building components.